Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our Minnesota Twins discussion video. That's right. We were talking about the Minnesota Twins as always. It's a lot of fun doing these videos and, and just having a fun time. But the Twins did get a win today as well as, if you saw in the title and the thumbnail, Marvin Gonzalez made his Twins debut today as well as Michael Pineda. Great things are happening today. Uh, 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 at least with the Minnesota Twins, it was a good day for baseball and Let's just jump into the recap here. We're going to be going through all the stats, obviously. We're going to be talking a little bit about a couple other things. But it's great to, you know, get a victory. It's spring training, so it doesn't really mean much. We're, we're playing Boston, but obviously it's not the Boston team. I mean, we could just go through the roster of, their, of, of who played today. But, you know, it's not, it's not really like Chris Sale and Mookie Betts and J.D. Martinez and all these other guys. So, um, I mean, we could just go through who was playing. I mean, Nunez... Devers, Sandy Leone. Are those the only starters? Yeah, those are like the only starters. Sam Travis, maybe. So that's about it. <laughs> that's who we played against today. Uh, and we did get the win. So, I mean, take it, take a give uh, what, what you can. But the point is we got a win and some players are making their, their starts today. So it's a lot to look forward to. Uh, and it is March now. It's March 1st. So it is opening month. Which is great because baseball needs to get back. Like real baseball needs to get back here. I'm not complaining about spring training or anything, but can't wait for opening day and, and real baseball to get underway. So the Twins are five and three against spring training though it doesn't mean much. And we did get the win three to four today. We had seven hits, six runs. So we had seven hits against or seven hits and four runs. That's awesome. Like that's that's productivity here. Even though you're not getting a lot of hits. The hits you are are scoring, which is great. Uh, Boston had three hits, six hits, three runs, one error. So, also a good thing. We out hit them, which is big. I mean, that's something you didn't see a lot last year. So, let's jump into this. Max Kepler led things off. And, and before I get into any farther things, um, any further, Max Kepler has been the leadoff guy. I believe every time he started, I would love to have somebody check me on this. Um, but when. When he played the second day, I don't think he played the first day in the double header um, or the, the split squad, um, I want to say. Um, or maybe he did. I'm not sure. But when he when he did lead off, and in the one game that I know he let off, and he had two home runs. So he started the lead off, uh, as the leadoff hitter today. That's the direction I think the Twins are going in. I really don't remember who I said was the leadoff hitter in my team. Uh, my, my who's going to be the lineup hitter <laughs> video that I did uh, at the beginning of the year. Um, I think Polanco was an option. I think Rosario was an option too. Um, but it, I like the Kepler idea. I do think uh, that would be an option. I do think that would be a good option. Um, he was kind of a 6-7 player last year, maybe a 5, but with all the other people like retiring or like Morris and Maurer, uh, Grossman all retiring, they all batted up at the top of the lineup. It's a good idea to put this guy up there, especially we signed him to an extension, hit two home runs in spring training, you know, you know, but if that's the direction we're going with, that's not bad. He's not the fastest guy, but he's definitely not slow. Uh, he can hit well. I like that idea. He did go over two today with a walk though. What can you do? Nick Gordon also got a chance to swing the bat. He went 0 for 1. Jorge Polanco batted third. He went 0 for 3. And then we go to Ben Rovorte. I don't know how to say his, this guy's name. He's a catcher. I don't think he'll ever play for the Twins. But he got walked. He did not have an official at bat because of the walk. And then we get to Marwin Gonzalez. So I keep mentioning, you know, these players are doing really well. Like Buxton went 5 for 5. And Kepler hit two home runs in a row. Obviously, it's great. I mean, you can see their mechanics and everything and, you know, maybe the confidence. They're seeing the ball well. They're hitting the ball well. They're not the greatest players. It is spring training, so you have to kind of judge that and weigh that differently. But, you know, he's still hitting home runs. There's home runs are, you know, home runs are home runs. Um, and it's the same way if a player goes 2 for 2, 3 for 3, 4 for 4, you got to look at the same way as an 0 for 2. So, Marwin Gonzalez went 0 for 2 today. Um, and, unfortunately, spring training games aren't streamed, uh, or at least the Twins aren't. Um and the audio uh, I couldn't get today uh, since I was doing some homework and I was at work a little bit ago. So I did not get to listen to it. I did watch the box score, though. Um, but obviously, you can only do so much with that. So I'm not able to see, you know, Marwin's swing, his, his his approach, his focus, you know, all that. So you take what it, you take your 0 for 2. You move on. We'll, we'll monitor him the rest of the week, rest of the month. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, it's the same as going 4 for 4. It's just like, hey, take it as you wish. It's one game, move on, uh, and we'll see how it goes from there. But 
it's fantastic that he's in in a, in a Twins uniform. I love the trade, like I said in that in the in the er, the trade the signing. I love the signing in uh, in that video. Um, I mentioned all of that. It's great to have him in a uniform, and I'm excited to see where he'll go this season. So Mike Olt next. Uh, he shared the duty at third base, which is where Gonzalez played today. Um, he got one at bat and he walked. So uh, Mike Olt not doing much, but he is our you know one of the bigger names on the. Uh, the minor league roster, Lucas Duda as well. Those two guys um, who are designated minor leaguers, I guess, uh, that could possibly get a call up later uh, in the season, but more than likely those are just going to stay on the AAA roster, the minor league roster. So he's got walked today. Uh, Eddie Rosario next up. He went two for three with an RBI and a run. So obviously player of the game right there. Uh, Eddie Rosario, I do love Eddie Rosario. You know all that. Um, it's great to see him hitting the bat. Uh, hitting the bat, hitting the ball well, uh, even though it is spring training, just get loose, get good, back into the rhythm. Uh, hopefully, he can be an all-star this year. Uh, but that's one of the – he was the best player today. So, um, let's keep moving on. Jimmy Kerrigan had one at bat, did not get a hit. Mitch Garver, 0 for 3. Um, Aaron Whitefield, he got a hit and a run. Uh, not sure exactly who that guy is, but uh, he was the DH pinch hitter. He got a – he got a hit. So there you go. He got one of our seven hits. Uh, next up is Jason Castro, who was the catcher today. He got uh, one walk and no at no, no hits and two at-bats. Uh, and then Xander Weil. Also don't know who he is. 0 for 1. Then we get to Byron Buxton. So Byron Buxton started off the season 5 for 5 with two home runs, 10 RBIs. Is that it? 5 for 5, two home runs, 10 RBIs. Um, then he went 0 for 3. Uh, and I think this is his fourth game playing. Again, I'm not 100% sure. But he went two. Uh, he went one for two today. Excuse me. He did get an RBI. He walked and he scored a run. So still producing. Again, spring training. But still producing. And like I said in, in yesterday or two days ago video about Byron Buxton, I have high expectations for him. I do think that he would be a leadoff hitter um, if, you know, we actually, if he stays healthy and he, he, he continues to do well. That would be my number one pick for a leadoff hitter. Um, but I, I have big expectations for him. He started out spring training hot. He's focused. He's got a new swing. He's got a new he's, – he said, he said he's more focused. He's got a new uh, mental approach to the game. If that's if that's the kind of player he's he's going to become, fantastic. Uh, so he got a one-for-two one, one for two day today. Uh, started out the season 5-5. Five and five. Obviously, you're going to have a bad game sometimes, but – consistency is, is really it and even if he's playing against these worse or pitchers still you're 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 performing um and the other i mean there's a couple other guys like jordani valspin i don't think that's how his name is um went uh he got he had a run uh no no zeros all over the board there tyler austin got a hit today one for three uh john kemmer uh over one adam rosales uh 0 for two and then Lamonte Wade, I like Lamonte. Uh, Lamonte Wade, uh, he had two RBIs, two hits, and two at bats, so he had a good day as well. Uh, and, and you know, again, we had him on the squad a couple last year, beginning of last year. I really liked him. Um, and then you know, we brought Cave in. I love Cave Buxton. They're all gonna have to work something out. I don't think Lamonte Wade is gonna get back up to the majors this season, especially with how many good guys and how many people we've gone out and signed or traded for who can play in the outfield. I don't think he's really gonna get a spot out there this year. But again, if he keeps performing, there's always next year or, or the call-ups or, or if somebody gets hurt, if he continues to perform, uh, he's not a bad player at all. So definitely like uh, what he's what he's doing. Uh, so let's go to pitching. So that was it for the batting. Michael Pineda make his day made his debut today. Two innings, one hit, one strikeout. Not bad. Uh, you know, he only got two innings, but a hit, no runs, no walks. I like it. He did only strike out one, but you know what can you do in six batters? I mean, hey, I, I like the start. It's, it's his first start. We'll see how it goes. I mean, that's pretty much all the insight I can give on that one. Um, just go from there. But if, you know, he stays healthy solid he doesn't need to be an ace um just perform when he needs to there we go i like it and it'll help out the team blake parker came in gave up one hit in one inning uh, also struck out one addison reed was the big loser today only one inning pitched two earned runs three hits one strikeout so that's the loser of today i mean we did still win like i said but that's the big that's the that's the owie 
the big big boo-boo that we had to put a bandage over today. Uh, then Trevor May came in through an inning, one strikeout. Taylor Rogers, one strikeout, one walk, and one inning. Tyler Duffy, one earned run on one hit, so it must have been a home run there. Um, but he got out of it uh, after that. Trevor Hildenberger and Ryan Harper also pitched an inning. Harper got two strikeouts, and Trevor Hildenberger got one. So, in recap, a couple players stood up today. Uh, Buxton, um, Rosario, Wade, all three of those guys did great. Um, then also, you know, you got your big guys like Pineda and Gonzalez now starting, getting back into things um, in their first Twins debut of the season. So a lot to look forward to again. But just the recap of today, you know, Marvin Gonzalez is officially in a Twins uniform and there's positive things to look forward to. So we'll just see how the weeks progress up to opening day. But I'm excited for the season. I hope you all are too. Let me know if you want to talk about anything down in the comments. How do the players do um, and all that. What are your expectations for these guys down in the comments? I want to talk to y'all. That's all I got. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another one. But until then, enjoy some Twins baseball. See you tomorrow.